Hi everyone, welcome back to my page. This week I wanted to discuss something that I also struggle with and deal with a lot of the time. I think a lot of us are prone to this. We have time on our commutes and our day to day that we put aside to just ruminate and overthink. And that's not very healthy because it those thoughts tend to creep up on us even when we're trying to get on with things and trying to get on with our day. But if we always end up falling into the same patterns of overthinking. So there's a number of things you can do to bring yourself back in the moment and make yourself aware that it's happening again. Because overthinking is just using up brain power and energy on situations and things that you actually have no control over or can do anything about. So all you're doing is wasting your time and energy on something that you cannot really change instead of using that and utilizing it in a positive, proactive way. If you haven't been to my page, welcome, I'm Hamasa. I look at personal development, mental and emotional well-being, as well as just day-to-day -day issues. So if there's anything that you would like me to cover, please do write it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my page, please do so, so that you're up to date with my weekly content. Right, so overthinking. First thing to do if you are an overthinker and you don't realize that you do this and you're constantly in this like state of negative thinking and negativity, then it's about awareness. You need to make yourself aware that this is happening and I'm thinking about things that are completely irrelevant to my day right now and they're not really helping me with what I want to do. So why am I thinking these thoughts? How is this relevant to my day? So. Once you become aware that this is what you do and it is something that you suffer with, um, being an overthinker, then you can do things to actually snap yourself out of it. But not being aware isn't really going to do you any good because you don't know that you're doing it. So if you don't know you're doing it, you're kind of like ruminating in negative headspace, negative energy, and you don't know why. So make yourself aware. And once you've become aware and you know that you're one of those people, next thing to do is when you tell an overthinker or someone who thinks about things all the time, oh, just don't think about it, try and distract yourself, what ends up happening is that that's all we're going to think about. It's like we're so set on not thinking about that thing that we're going to start thinking about it. It's like, oh my God, I can't think about that. I can't think about that. So what happens? You are thinking about that because you're so fearful of not wanting to do that. So if you know you do this, then give yourself some time in the day, literally put half an hour or so aside to overthink. You know, if you can't beat them, join them kind of mindset, like face it head on. You know that you suffer with this. You know that it's gonna consume your day if you don't think about it a little bit. So give yourself that time and know that, you know what, right now, if I think about it, it's no good to me because I know that I have an appointment with myself that I'm gonna sit down and I'm just really gonna overthink this whole situation and think of every possible outcome and option. So because I have that coming, let me put this thought to the side right now and get on with my day. This is kind of giving you an incentive not to overthink when you're getting on with your day-to-day -day tasks and errands, but it's also letting you get it out of your system so that it doesn't, that whole thing of let me not think about it, but you end up thinking about it doesn't happen. Because you know that you're gonna give yourself time to really think about it and really digest it and whatever you need to do to get out of your system, you're gonna do that. But make sure that time is about half an hour, 45 minutes in the day, but no more. Because any longer than that, then it is kind of consuming your day and there is absolutely no need. Once you've really had this whole overthinking thing out of your system, write down your thoughts. And even if you haven't had the chance to do the overthinking part of your day, any thought that comes into your head and stresses you out and you tend to like dwell on it a little bit, write them down. At the end of the day, look over your notes and see the things that you have actually control over or you could do something about. Pinpoint those that you can do something about and look over the ones that you can't and accept them for what they are and don't even try and bring that in your headspace because there's nothing you can do about it and when you read over it and like take it in in a different way. It's not just all in your head, it's words written on a piece of paper, so it's easier for you to see what's happening. You will 
be able to accept it easier that you know what I can't actually do anything about the situation so thinking about it and dwelling on it isn't going to help anyone so it's just best if I let this go and the ones that you can do something about the ones that you have written and think oh yeah you know what actually if I do this like that it might resolve then put your energy and time into those thoughts and see what you can actually do to change the situation and turn it around or turn it to how you wanted it so that you don't overthink if you're one of those people that gets very overwhelmed with overthinking, then the quickest thing for you to do is to snap yourself back into the present moment. Obviously, meditation is a great tool for that. I go on about this in most of my videos, but it takes time with meditation. So meditation is practicing and you have to get there. And the problem is that some people that try and meditate can't still their mind straight away, get disheartened and kind of get put off it. But with meditation, it takes a lot of time, and a lot of effort and a lot of practice to get to a level that you could actually calm your brain down, be on a frequency that's comfortable for you and just clear your head. So because that's a little bit difficult and it's the long term solution to it, you can just when you feel really overwhelmed and want to bring yourself to the present moment, put one hand on your belly and one on your heart and take deep belly breaths. So through your chest and into your belly and out concentrating on your breathing and getting a lot of oxygen into your um, bloodstream one just wakes you up and helps you feel better and two it brings you to the present moment because you're not concentrating on anything else you're not letting that thought consume your mind you're actually concentrating on your breathing which then makes you realize that you were here now and not with your thoughts far away in the midst of your anxiety and another thing also, if you can't, if it's safe, close your eyes and take the breaths because you kind of go into your head and you can really like think about it. But if closing your eyes is not an option because you're out in public and you don't feel so safe, then make yourself aware and bring your awareness to the smells, the, the things you can hear, the cars, you know, what you could feel. Can you feel the sun on your skin? Um, can you hear people talking and walking? Things like that will help you not feel so overwhelmed and flustered when your thoughts take over and anxiety hits in and you're just like deep in your thoughts having a little panic attack calm yourself down by taking a few deep breaths and making yourself aware of your present surroundings and where you are and what you're doing because it's very easy for us to fall into this downward spiral of negative thoughts and then getting out of that becomes very difficult and we just think that this is our natural state. Most people are kind of on autopilot with overthinking and don't even realize that they are in this negative headspace at all times. So we really need to make ourselves aware of it, realize we're doing it, give ourselves some time to dwell, but there's a limit, there's everything in moderation and once we've had our dwelling time shut that up and move on with your day and get on with what you're supposed to be doing here and now i hope you guys found this helpful if you have please do share it with someone that may need it please do subscribe to my page um like and comment on this video and i will see you guys here again next week thanks for watching Mwah.